everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's cleaning video. I put out a cleaning video every week and sometimes twice a week. Um, and most of the time I do my entire house. That was my goal for this day because as you will see, my house was the biggest mess that I think it's been in a while. It was in extreme need of clean. But I wanted to let you know that I'm actually collabing up with one of my besties and I'll let her introduce herself. Hey guys, my name is Lexi. I just thought I would come on here and introduce myself really quick to you. Addie and I have been friends for a very long time, since we were kids actually, and she recently moved down to North Carolina, as you guys know, to be closer to us, this area. We have been through thick and thin together and are really like soul sisters. I know some of you have seen me on her channel before and may not know that I have a channel of my own. I am a mom of two, a business owner, a wife. I love to vlog, uh, do some cleaning and organizing, home decorating, all of that fun stuff. I am gonna also do an entire house clean, a disaster house clean. My house really needed it. So after you're done with Addie's video, if you want to pop on over to my channel and check it out. I would love it if you would come subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you guys in that video. Bye. So like Lexi said, if you guys click on the link in the description box when you're done watching this video, you will get double motivation today because she's cleaning her whole house and you will also love her style. Her decorating taste is different than mine, but I think it's so cute. All right, so this is a very realistic, extreme, whatever you wanna call it, style cleaning video because I don't know what happened this week, you guys. I think it was just, we were so busy and the house just got turned upside down as you're gonna see. Um, but I did a lot of just kind of going through and picking up this day and just putting things where they belonged, vacuuming. I didn't do any kind of crazy deep cleaning or um, other things, but my main focus was the floors. And also the laundry room was really messy and dirty because my husband had cleaned out kind of the inside of part of the dryer. So there was lint all over, all that good stuff. Um, so I just kind of had to make sure that I got everything out from between the washer and dryer, all of that. Does anyone else feel like that their family just kind of explodes when they walk in the door? <laughs> so the day before this, we had been gone all day and obviously this is what happened when we came home. Everything does have a place, so I just had to put it all away. And the girls do put their stuff away themselves once in a while, but whenever I'm in cleaning mode, I just do everything myself so I can zip through it as fast as possible. You guys are getting the realest of real of life. <laughs> a chip bag on the floor, a pack of toilet paper on the table. <laughs> this, I, oh my goodness. I was so happy when this was all done because it was just getting to be to the point where I couldn't stand it anymore. I had gotten my groceries the day before this, and so I used some boxes. I get my groceries at the store called Aldi, and I grabbed boxes that they had extra just to put my groceries in, so my daughters were playing with them. The dishes didn't get done the night before. There was just stuff everywhere.
someone recently made a comment about these chairs that they never really thought about the fact that none of them match. But a fun fact is the one with the heart on it was actually my childhood chair for a little table that my grandfather made me. And I no longer have the table, but I have the chair that went with it. And now my little girls use it every single day. All right, let's talk about this method heavy degreaser. I think I've been mentioning it for the last maybe four weeks, but it seriously is so worth it. If you guys order from Grove, which I've done for like about the last two years, you can definitely get it from them. If you've never tried Grove, you can hit the link in the description box and you'll get a bunch of free stuff. They just basically are a great website to get a lot of natural cleaners and stuff, but this degreaser does such a good job. Another question I've gotten recently is how I keep my glass top stove clean. And there might be people out there that really disagree with this, but I've had more than one glass top stove. I've used them for years and I use a flat razor and actually just kind of go over it. It never has scratched it. Um, and it's just done a really good job at getting all of the grime off from the burners. So there's your little tip. That's what I do. And it really eliminates having to do a bunch of scrubbing on the top of it. And in some sense, I think it might save it from getting scratched. As long as you hold the razor flat and just, you know, scrape at what is stuck on the top of the stove. Somebody recently had put a comment on one of my cleaning videos asking if my dishes get clean because I pack my little dishwasher so full. And yes, they do. This dishwasher is so old, but it's one of those that like has lasted forever and it does such a good job. It's really loud. It's not quiet at all. But I think because the water pressure is so good and it just sprays and does its thing, it cleans everything perfectly. And I pretty much never have dishes that come out dirty after it's ran its cycle. There are a lot of days that I run my dishwasher more than once, but this day I just wanted the whole house clean. Like it was such a mess and I wanted it all cleaned up. <laughs> so I just went ahead and hand washed a few dishes. Um, but I do put my like frying pan in the dishwasher, which by the way, this frying pan, I will link below. You can get it on Amazon, but the brand is called Blue Diamond and they work so well. They're non-toxic. You can even use metal spatulas and things like that on it. Um, and it is non-stick and it's amazing. And also to top it all off, they're really inexpensive. My mom and my sister-in-law actually told me about it and I'm so glad I got one. Um, but like I said, I'll link it below. If you guys are looking for an inexpensive frying pan that's non-stick and also um, not toxic.
So I know you guys have been hearing me mention it here and there in my vlogs and things, but I'm collecting decor right now to do my spring decor. Um, I actually may end up doing two videos of it, but I'm so excited. I'm bringing a very different twist to my decor, um, getting out of my neutral zone. You know how much I love my neutrals and things, but I'm bringing in kind of a little bit of a different flair, and I think you guys are gonna like it. I'm really excited for you to see it, and I'm excited to enjoy it as the warmer weather comes on. If you guys are cleaning along with me, maybe you're getting to the point of mopping and maybe you're using this mop. I know that you guys buy so many of these mops off of the link in my description box from Amazon. I think last week, 11 of you bought this mop, um, but I love it so much. It's like literally the best. I think most of the people I know also use this mop. My mom uses it and it's really sturdy, heavy duty. There's other spin mops brands out there but they fall apart I've seen them fall apart um, but this one's really really sturdy and has lasted me a really long time So I just had to fix our little piping thing that holds the cords for our TV. But one little hack that I did with these, they come with a sticky red tape that you put behind them when you order them from Amazon. But I actually used the Velcro command strips because then if they are bumped or anything, they're not gonna pull the paint off the wall, nothing like that. And I can actually just pop them right back on. One of the kids had hit it and I can just easily snap it back in place. Also, if you see me talking, my husband was standing in the kitchen and we were just talking. I'm not talking to myself, I promise. Okay, so this was actually at a different time that I tackled the bedrooms, but as you can see, real life, real mess. <laughs> um, I had done a try on on my Instagram stories this week, and so I had clothes and shoes out from that. Just everything was dumped all together and needed to be put in its place.
Okay, so I have to tell you guys, and I might be letting a little bit of a cat out of the bag, but Lexi, if you guys go check out her channel, you're gonna really love it, but she is also starting a new business with woodworking. Her and her husband own a tree cutting business, and she is actually making me some bedside stands, and they're gonna look so good in here. I'm so excited. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that, because I'm actually gonna do a bedroom refresh um, probably in the next few weeks, and so that will be along with that and then of course she'll be opening up her shop so if you guys love handmade furniture or things that just kind of have their own unique twist you're going to really love checking that out The kids rooms are always the worst when the rest of the house is a mess right guys <laughs> but they did help me and they're also very good at helping to clean up whenever we're all working together which I think is one of the best ways to parent right leading by example and so I try to help them sometimes they do it on their own um, but I just feel like sometimes I can teach them how to do it faster and better if we're working together so they were helping me put things where they belonged and put clothes in the hamper, all of that good stuff. All right, so I got a little interrupted in my filming whenever I was cleaning their room. My husband came home and so this is what it looks like whenever it's all picked up. <laughs> And then this is my other daughter's room. This week, um, I did get pretty much the entire house cleaned. I did not film me cleaning my bathrooms this week, um, but that is normally a part of my entire house cleans that I put out every single week. So this is my youngest daughter's room, and in her closet, we actually keep all of the toys because they're three girls and the other closet is kind of big in the other girls room um, we put all of the clothes in that one and then all of the toys in this one also isn't that just a classic sticker stuck to the bottom of the foot there going on <laughs> anyhow Kylia, she is such a great little helper she's the one that's putting a lot of the toys away here and she's always so willing to jump in, especially with dishes. That's been her thing lately. She likes to help me put the silverware away and just anything I'm doing. She likes to be there wherever I'm at. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this gave you a lot of motivation. I hope that if you're new here, that you would hit that subscribe button to join my channel. I do so much mommyhood and homemaking content and I'd love it if you joined me. I'll see you in my next one and have a great day. Bye.